What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we have a little bit of a different video today. Now on this channel, I've got to say, I don't really do very many food related challenges. The last one I did was when I tried black foods for 24 hours, which definitely was quite an interesting experience. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it up there in the eye. But for today's video, I thought I would do the I Only Ate Vegan Fast Food for 24 Hours video, and I'm so excited for this. If you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll already know that I actually already lead a plant-based diet so this should be a breeze for me. So this is the thing most people who do this video are usually meat eaters and I was like there's something wrong with that. I feel like there needs to be an actual like plant-based diet slash vegan person that does this video. Just because personally I've been leading a plant-based diet for two years already and before that I was also vegetarian for another two years and I feel like these videos don't really do the vegan sort of community justice. There is literally so many vegan alternatives alternatives that are as amazing as meat and I feel like no one ever talks about it so I thought it was my duty to make this video. So in today's video I thought I would eat some new and old vegan foods that I already love just to kind of try it and show you guys how easy it actually is to lead a plant-based diet in this day and age. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Don't forget to subscribe but without further ado let's get on into the video. Okay so the first stop is Greg's. Now I've got to say I'm not really much of a morning person. I never really Really eat breakfast I'll just skip straight to lunch so what I may be having from there isn't really like breakfast appropriate however I did think about going to McDonald's for breakfast but then I thought oh I'll just go there for lunch so I didn't want to go there twice so throughout this video I'm also going to be going to like mostly chains that are in most towns so that you guys can also try it for yourself and it's easily accessible for everyone can I just get one of those vegan test rolls please Okay, so I've got my vegan Greg sausage roll. Now, as I promised, I will be trying some new foods in this video, but I just couldn't resist having this for my breakfast. I know it's not really a breakfast type of item, but this is so delicious that I just couldn't not get it and show you guys. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> So Matt sat next to me. <laughs> so this is what the vegan sausage roll looks like. It looks so realistic. It literally looks just like the real thing. So this sausage roll is actually in collaboration with a brand called Corn. You guys have probably heard about it. The inside is filled with, I'm pretty sure it's made of miso protein and it's very delicious. It tastes just like real meat. So the thing is with real meat, the thing that gives it that delicious flavor that everyone craves is actually the spices. And when it comes to this sausage roll, they use exactly the same spices as they do on the original sausage roll and that is why it is so convincing so I'm just gonna eat this now this is what it looks like it's so good <laughs> I'm gonna break it in half and give Matt the other half because he's literally just watching me eat <laughs> <laughs> it is so good this is like one of our favorite things to eat on the go isn't it mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, honestly, that was delicious. Now, I'm not going to be getting into the health benefits of a vegan diet. We're just going to purely be talking about taste, but I thought I would show you guys or share with you guys the nutritional information of this vegan sausage roll compared to the original one. The vegan sausage roll I just ate is lower in calories, fats, saturated fats, but it is higher in protein, which is absolutely insane. So if you guys haven't tried the vegan sausage roll before, but you do like the original one, then make sure you try it because it is honestly delicious. But now for the next meal, which will be lunch, Lunch, I will be heading off to McDonald's two hours later. Okay guys. It's a couple of hours later I'm at McDonald's. This is where I'll be having my lunch So at McDonald's is actually two different vegan options There's a wrap which you can see on screen actually this is chicken I think and there's also a burger so I've tried the wrap but I've never actually tried the burger So I'm really keen to see what that will taste like go to burgers Vegetable burger. So this actually isn't vegan until you take the mayo out. So I'm gonna go for a medium meal I'm going to customize it and I'm going to take off the mayonnaise and that is it and that makes it vegan which is great. Okay so we have a dip, we have a portion of chips and lastly we have the veggie deluxe burger. Now I'm pretty sure that what is inside this burger is the same as the wrap. However, I've never had the burger before, so we'll see. Also, I got the sweet curry sauce. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite sauce from McDonald's? This is like the best one by far. Let's have a look at the burger. That's pretty good. To be honest, I think these are exactly the same as what's inside the wrap, but it might taste different in a bun. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. 
That's really good. It just fell out. This is literally so good. It tastes exactly like the wrap, but obviously it's in a bun. So, you know, it's a little bit more substantial. I really like this, honestly. So the weird thing is that this doesn't actually taste like a vegetable patty to me. Like I know it's made from vegetables, but it's actually really nice. Okay, so my final verdict of this burger, I've got to say as nice as it is, it just lacks the meat, meaty sort of like flavor to it and obviously it's never gonna have a meaty flavor because it is a vegetable patty but I feel like as McDonald's is such a massive chain like they they are known across the world they should be able to have more options that are vegan rather than just the same patty for like two different things like a wrap and a burger they are so behind on the game because I mean KFC is already making fake chicken burgers made out of corn so I feel like McDonald's come on if you are listening you are missing out on an opportunity here if you made a vegan chicken burger I guarantee you so many vegans would be coming back here and eating here you definitely have the power because you have so much money in your company so you could make this happen come on now I mean it's not like I don't want a veggie wrap but I just don't want it every single time I come to McDonald's and there's so many different options on the menu there's like hundreds and hundreds of different options for meat eaters and there's only one or two for a vegan or a vegetarian I mean I'm only talking on behalf of like the McDonald's side of things there's definitely a lot of restaurants out there who do have a lot of vegan options I mean Matt who's behind the camera he usually struggles with you know finding an option because there's, there's so many. many there's so many options usually Can't but decide. exactly but with McDonald's there's only two really and I feel like it could be a lot better I just feel like McDonald's is stuck in their old ways it's 2019 and they need to catch up because veganism is such a massive thing now later okay guys so it's a little bit later and I'm just about to have my dinner so actually instead of getting a takeaway I'm actually gonna go to a restaurant I feel like that's not really cheating because it's still eating out and today I'm gonna be eating at Wagamama's because they have quite a lot of vegan options and there's a few that I haven't actually tried yet so I'm really excited okay so here we have the vegan menu there's literally a whole menu here dedicated to vegan and vegetarian foods which is so cool and you guys probably you know I love Wagamama's it's literally one of my favorite restaurants and I have tried a lot of things from the menu however for today's video I thought I would try something a little bit different something a little bit more new and I think I'm gonna go for the the Gatsu curry which is basically um, curry it's kind of like the Katsu one that they do here but it's got vegan sort of like seitan pieces inside it which is supposed to be kind of like a meat alternative which I've never tried so I'm really excited for it so this is kind of what the vegan menu looks like they've even got vegan ice cream and vegan desserts which is so cool. I usually actually go for the wok fry greens and the bang bang cauliflower. This is literally like my favorite starter from any restaurant ever. But today we're gonna be trying the vagatsu, which looks like this. That looks so tasty. Oh, and also they recently added this new dish, which is really, really interesting. I've tried this before and it's actually really delicious. It's basically got a vegan egg, which is very interesting. This is like the first vegan egg a restaurant has ever done. So if you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should. All right, so my food has arrived. So this is actually a dish that Matt usually gets but I've never actually tried the Vagatsu pieces which is so interesting because this is what they look like. They're kind of supposed to be like fake meat. So here we go. Oh my god. That's so nice. So I've actually had the katsu sauce in this dish before because it also comes with the yasai katsu which is kind of like a vegetable curry but it's honestly amazing with this. This is so good. So I've got some more food that's just arrived. These are the starters. So first up we have the bang bang cauliflower. This is one of my favorite dishes from Wagamama's. I get this every single time I come here. And then we also have the wok fry greens, which come in like a really nice soy sauce. Again, these are absolutely amazing. If you guys have never been to Wagamama's, this is the place to be because it's so, so good. It's kind of like Japanese cuisine, so it's a bit different, but I really, really love it. So it's a little bit later and I've just popped into Tesco to basically try and get some snacks. But whilst I'm here, I thought I'd show you guys the vegan and vegetarian section. So this is where all like the corn stuff is. This is basically what the vegan sausage roll from Greg's is made out of. And they've also got a brand called Vivera, which has all sorts of things. They've got a veggie steak, they've got pulled pork, which is kind of like barbecue flavor. They've even got like veggie fish goujons, which I've never actually tried, but they look pretty delicious. So there's definitely a lot to choose from. There's even like kebab, and this is so amazing. I've tried this before. But yeah, there's literally so much to choose from, and sometimes I just don't even know what to get. Whilst I'm here, I also thought I'd show you guys the frozen section with all the vegan and vegetarian stuff. And quickly, I want to show you guys this in particular. This is the Beyond Meat Beyond Burger, which is literally the best cheeseburger alternative that I've ever 
ever tried. It tastes so realistic and it is literally the best thing ever. But Corn also do their own beef burger alternative and it's only two pounds. This is literally another really good alternative and it looks so realistic and tastes just like the real thing. So I've just come to the sweet aisle to get some snacks and actually Oreos are vegan. So I thought I'll just pick these up and basically these will be my snack for tonight. And also to go with my Oreos, I'm gonna get some vegan ice cream. They do so many different brands. They've got Cornetto, Ben & Jerry's, Magnum and also Swedish Glace, which I've never tried. So today I think I'm gonna try the Ben & Jerry's Fudge Brownie, which seems like it'll be very delicious, so we're gonna give that a go. Okay, so now for the grand finale of this video, I'm gonna have my snack. I'm gonna try the Ben & Jerry's Vegan Chocolate Fudge Brownie. This is non-dairy and it smells really, really good actually. I can't believe I've never tried this before. Mmm. That's so good. That tastes just like real chocolate. What is it made with? Ah, oh, it's made with like almond paste instead of dairy. 100% recommend this. You guys need to try it. So that is it for me only eating vegan food for 24 hours. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash a big thumbs up and also be sure to comment down below if you guys have ever tried any vegan foods like the ones that I tried today. Also, I will leave a link down below to a challenge that you guys can do in your own time as well. I think it's called Vegan 22, but I can't remember off the top of my head. So I will link it down below so you guys can can check it out but that is all for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one bye